work, we're going to be working in two different countries, in Tanzania and Indonesia, and testing and seeing if, in fact, mobile savings really increase women's earnings. And it has a twist. You know, all the time, sort of, it has been, I think, the, the, the tendency has been to provide women with access to education, to financial literacy, you know, sort of because women have had less education than men, et cetera. So everything, I think a lot of the interventions that are gender interventions have focused on the demand side of an increasing women's capacities so that they can access mod modern products. What we're doing in this, in Tanzania, we're doing that, and we are varying two levels of business training, light training and heavy training, and seeing if women will access its savings, mobile savings through a, a mobile phone company, Vodacom. In Indonesia, however, and this I think, it's, it's an important lesson, I think. We are also working on the supply side because you know, there has been very little done on really sort of customizing products so that they meet women's needs. So what we are going to be doing, and I think that that is a big sort of is, 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 an, is where we should be going now. You know, we have trained women, we have given them the education, but oftentimes we assume, well, you know, all these financial services products, services in general, are gender neutral. They're not. They have been done, made with men in mind. And they have not been made with accessing women's constraints. So what we're going to be doing in Indonesia is working on the supply side and providing, providing incentives to bank agents, and this is with a big bank, Bank Mandiri, to see that they can sort of uh, focus and target women clients of services. 